Hi, I'm Mark from Mark's Bolts, Nets, and Surplus. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at probably the biggest mistake that is made in anchoring things into block. So follow me back to the shop and let's show you what we're talking about. Okay, there are two ways to drill a hole. You've got your roto hammer, or you have a regular rotary drill, whether it's electric or cordless. The biggest mistake people make in drilling in block is they pick up this weapon of choice. It's quick, it's fast, it's simple, it's easy. The biggest problem with the roto hammer is what you don't see. When you're drilling into concrete, which it's designed to do, the intent of the roto hammer is to break the ABC rocks up that are beneath the surface of the concrete. When you go into a block wall, the block is not near high enough of a PSI to withstand the vibration and the shattering that this gun does. Depending upon what type of block you're using, this roto hammer can absolutely annihilate it. Uh, it drills an oversized hole. It blows divots in the back side of the block that you can't see. And in many cases, it will just totally shatter uh, a cap block. The preferred option is a rotary drill using a good carbide tipped bit. That's as different as night and day. The vibration is gone, the impact is gone, and this drill bit and this rotary drill gives you a clean, snug hole, no divots, no blowouts in the back. And that's the key success to having an anchor do its job. Well, I hope today's tutorial has helped give you a successful installation of a sleeve anchor. Here at Mark's Bolts, we sell probably 200 different styles of anchors, from sleeve anchors to nail-ins to tap cons. Uh, many decisions that you've got to make in how to install. So on your next project, give us a call, stop by, check us out on the web. We're here to help you.